Lions play grounded. Hi guys, Lionheart right here. I'm coming to you live from Zimbabwe. I'm in Epworth and I'm out here to see these rocks, man. They are amazing. Uh, so if you want to come and experience this beautiful nature, <laughs> you have to pay four US dollars if you are an adult and you are Zimbabwean. If you are a foreigner, then you have to pay 10 US dollars if you're an adult. For children, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> yeah, Daron. I think I got two hand. So yeah, we are. This one is called uh, the amphitheater, sometimes referred to as the Giants Playground. This feature is a natural shelter, tucked between a combination of balancing rocks and boulders, giving an aura of an amphitheater. The serene environment its allures and other indigenous vegetation and scenic landscape now provides a retreat and venue for social gatherings wow people can come and chill here Zimbabwe is amazing guys you must visit this beautiful country that was also okay go go Yeah. So this is the playground. Guys, you must visit Zimbabwe and uh, see this beautiful country for yourself. Uh. <laughs> Doctor Zogai go go. Yeah. <laughs> Look, sir. Let me try to jump. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't fall down. <coughs> I hope it's safe out here. Yeah. <laughs> See these guys. Wow. Since there are people also touring. Yes. Look at these guys. A 
balancing rocks look out point okay Yeah, No problem. Yeah. My job is to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Yanzi, look out point. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Yanzi, look out. Most vintage point when from where we are taking the best view. Look out point. I found some sorry. So yeah, I think I'm going to clear up some sorry. Okay. Because we are clearing some sorry, you can see. This is the lookout point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can see everything. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I get a lookout point. <laughs> See, I can see an airport that side or international airport. Come here guys, you can enjoy this beautiful scenery out here in Zimbabwe. You can't find this anywhere else man. Only in Zimbabwe you can find this.
I ask, where are you from? It's beautiful here. We're from France. You're from France. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's lovely. Your first time here? This place? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm from here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I think we find my find my rope painting here, but. Where? I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to Ah, <laughs> I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Is he? Damn. Not a monitor peak that same one. Who is here? But it's good. But this is when I in here.
Someone cut a tree here. I don't know what this is called in English, but in Shona we call it damba. That's what I'm eating. I'm not going to shake them. I don't care if I tell you. I am a super. 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 I a group. A group. Mm hmm. Do my Buddha. Do my Tola Dambarelo. You need it. Hmm. I do it for myself. Yeah. I don't want to put up for the. So this is the tree. So uh, this one's gonna try it. That's where we got this one that we are eating. So you just pick it from the ground. Mm. 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 Find. Do my see if I ride on the dara. Look at that. That's how people used to survive look, way back in African communities, man. You eat this. See? I found this one. Yes. So way back out here. In African communities, that's what they used to depend on men for food as well. These are wild fruits. I think they are indigenous. So right here we also have an egg rock. See? It looks like an egg. That's an egg rock right there. <laughs> Let's see.
egg rock this oval shaped granite border resembles an egg a traditional symbol of protection fertility and nourishment it is believed that by touching the egg rock the barren will will heal their infertility problems wow so guys this is what i've seen here so if you have inf uh, infertility issues you can come here and touch the edge the egg rock and then your problems will be sorted i know i'm fatal but let me just touch it if i have maybe other problems i don't know but we believe in these things man out here in africa <clears throat> That's not my own area, I know Rabba. My own area, I know Rabba, I grow up. Good to know it, I say. And it is believed that by touching the egg rock, the barren will heal their infertility problems. Hey! I think I'm not going to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Just come here in Zimbabwe and touch this rock. It's called the egg rock. And those ones right there, those are the famous balancing rocks out here in Zimbabwe. If you check our local currents, you see these rocks on our money. Let me see actually if I have one right now and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, like this one. Um, this is $50, Zimbabwean dollars, yes. And uh, this side is like a picture of uh, one of our uh, important religious figures. It was she was a spirit medium. But yeah, these are the rocks I'm talking about. If you can see on the money, these are the rocks, the balancing rocks. So if you come to Zimbabwe, you see these these rocks, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So you can see here, these are the rocks from this side. And it is written here that Dombore Mari, money rock. The money rock constitutes granite rocks superimposed on each other and intricately balanced. The money rock has been adopted as the seal on colonial and post-colonial Zimbabwean current in North. Uh, the natural stability in this rock formation symbolizes the nation's economic and financial resilience and strength. This is what it means, guys. So if you have seen these um, rocks on our money and you don't know what it means, it symbolizes the nation's economic and financial resilience and strength. Wow, amazing. But man, just work up and go. Yeah, I think Panama Barbu.
Shadu chaga wana arta zeta wana ndo zote ndine na umshonga Haa hali nino kubati zae balanzi ngiru Isafa ifuwa ya kwa apatikiti Ita achaji Ita achaji kustu Apa mlampo ya titora kapa balanzi ngiru Uwa nile Ayo nda utora ya Apo pa iri Egi Eh Mija toni Nda utora Nda utora Nda utora Nda utora Kepada mian dulu ni tu, anda tu rasa sangat mirasi. Semua mereka di garam gue pun semua nak tu ziri, semua tu semua tu. Ya, agak show mah tu. Anak anak itu bukan zaman tuan tuan. Tuan tuan itu nak kira ni zaman. Plus ni nak aku tu kau nak kira, mungkin nanti four dollars. Kau tu tu kau zaman ni ni four dollars ni situasi ni belum sedap right now. It's a lot of money. Even a teacher, I don't think we can afford it. But I'm a bit serious, and I came out. Oh, you know, and so forth. Mm. But I think for educational purposes, one day I will take my girls from where I'm going now, my rocks, so forth. Yeah. What's up, Rania? What's your name? Because I can't do it. I want to go to but twenty, but twenty dollars. But I'm a report here right now. I look serious. How is it? Where are you? Saya tu, saya tu. Muka nanti kau faham lagi. Saya tu, saya. Kalau muka nanti beri paham saya. Saya kalau erodi jangan dua rupu. Eh, maybe. Kalau beri ni anda. Tidak kita ni muda kan? Tu ni siap seru, tu ni siap. Tu balik lagi. But I don't know. 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 I Bila tu dia dorong kawan tu dong. Yeah, so this is another dombore mari, money rock. But this one was used on our current before we acquired our independence. That was when Zimbabwe was still called Rhodesia. Right. So these are the rocks that uh, you find on that current. I think I'll check on the internet and find and confirm this because I've never seen the Rhodesian current. I only know the Zimbabwean one. Yeah. <sighs> Rock painting. In the Madumba Balanza. But when I got any more food, I got any more food. Rock painting. These three stones, and this one, and then any more. Must be a cow. They were trying to market the
Jersey. Balancing rocks, the flying boat formation. So we are here to see the flying boat, guys. This is the flying boat. Look at it. Wow, this is amazing. I rapid the most sports. Look at how these rocks are balanced, man. They won't fall. Damn, you should see this when you come to Zimbabwe. Let me know in the comment section if you also have balancing rocks in your country. My battery is about to die, so uh, I will enjoy the rest alone. <coughs> yeah, you can now see clearly from this view. This is the flying boat. This one right here. Look at <laughs> just look at the way these rocks are balanced. Anyway guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my battery is about to die. So uh, I won't be able to show you guys more rocks anymore. Uh, I will enjoy the view myself. So if you want to see these rocks, you can come to Zimbabwe in Epworth, uh, Chiremba Road. And this is called Chiremba, something, something like that. You'll find them here. Wow.